Hi, uh, my name is Nadia Shea. I'm from the MLC CAD Systems Austin office. And today I wanted to go over some of the new functions that are added in SOLIDWORKS PDM for 2017. Let's go ahead and just talk about the quick overview. Today I'm going to discuss version overwriting, rollback referencing, uh, database replication, uh, Web2 viewer enhancements, tasks improvements, and service, cap service pack compatibility. You can see that the improvements in 2017 cover a wide range of PDM products. I will iterate to you when the uh, function is only in PDM Professional versus being in both PDM Standard and Professional. So the first thing we want to go over is latest version overwrite. This function is really for those of you that might have some limitations in hard drive space for your archive. This is probably a very small percentage of my PDM users, but again, this is a great functionality that's available here. The benefits of doing uh, a latest version overwrite is that it's going to reduce your vault and database size, uh, your performance will have a slight increase, and then you'll be able to do more frequent check-ins. So a latest version overwrite is similar to what you do on your network drive. Let's say that you check in files Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you do this in the standard procedure, you would actually have a different version of the file for every day of the week, and you'd have five versions of files, which would take up basically five times the amount of space that the normal file would take. With the latest version overwrite, if you don't um, actually bump the version until, uh, let's say, Friday, then you're only going to have one version for that entire week. Um, the use case settings is setting variables and the end of day check in and fixing small errors. Really, what I would probably foresee this as being able to check your files in without taking up a whole bunch of archive uh, date, data size. Um, so, this is a great functionality here. The next thing we're going to talk about is rollback reference. This is included in both PDM Standard and Pro. And rollback is a function in PDM that actually will destroy older versions of files. So for example, if you have 10 versions of the files and you roll back to version 5, what's going to happen is it's going to destroy version 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, really the great thing about this is that it's going to roll back the entire structure to version 5. So if you're rolling back an assembly, it would actually roll back all the child features as well. And this is really, really useful. Um, previous releases of SOLIDWORKS would actually only roll back that particular file, and so you might break some references. This is going to be a really great uh, function for those of you that use rollback. Database replication is going to be available for all of our PDM professional customers. And it's the ability to actually replicate the SQL database. We've always supported archive replication, but now the database is going to be included as well. The benefits is that it's going to reduce the latency, and this is really for any sort of right-click action. So let's say that you're a United States company and you have customers in Europe, Asia, Australia, South America, etc. Anytime they actually right-click on a file, to just, what's going to happen is it has to communicate with your database server to figure out do you have the ability to check this file out, to make edits to it, etc. It has to do a little bit of a check. And so reducing the latency on this is going to improve the overall performance for those of your users that are in different countries or very far away. It also increases the scalability. You can have those secondary servers. And a great function here is that it's actually going to increase disaster recovery. All these replicated databases are read-only copies, but if something should happen to your main database, it will actually be a backup. Our Web2 enhancements are actually included in 2016 Service Pack Pro, and this is for our PDM Pro customers. Now, the great thing about this viewer is that it's going to actually be dynamic viewing in all browsers. And the great thing about that is that there's no plugin and there's no caching required. This means that you do not have to be dependent on a Windows-based system. You'll be able to access the vault via web browser with your smart tablet, your iPhones, anything that's not Windows system based. And so that's a really great function. The document preview is actually going to support a larger number of file formats, your multi-seat drawings. But my favorite functionality here is the ability to restrict download. So what does this mean? This means that you can actually widen the audience for your vault. You can share your data in your vault with more people external to your company but yet be confident that they're not actually gaining copies of the files. They can just simply preview it through the data preview. It's a really great functionality with the web. Tasks improvement. So task improvements are only in PDM Pro because PDM Standard does not support tasks. Tasks are a function in PDM that allow you to actually create PDF files from SOLIDWORKS files. 
In 2017, you're going to see that we're going to support more exporting. So we'll be able to export the MBD, aka the model based definition PDF. So you'll be able to actually select the theme for MBD that you're going to use, as well as the views that you're going to publish. We also have an Office to PDF task. So inside SOLIDWORKS, you can create a drawing and convert it to a PDF with PDM. With the Office to PDF task, you'll be able to convert any Office files, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. to PDF. And we'll update the custom properties on that PDF as well. We'll also support DWG to PDF. Again, this is available in 2016 Service Pack 4. And then the DWG to PDF will actually require you to have DraftSite Pro or Premium. And really, this is how it works out. PDM itself does not actually create PDFs. It must hook into some other software, aka SOLIDWORKS, Office, DraftSite, to open up your files and questions and actually do the convert task there. So this is really fantastic. The task is also going to actually add variables to the output names, which gives you more flexibility on how you produce those PDFs and what they're actually called. My last and favorite function that's added in 2017 is Service Pack Compatibility. This is available in PDM Standard and PDM Pro. And what this is saying is that the client and the server can actually be on different service packs as long as they're on 2017. So this allows more flexibility for those customers that have the early adopter users. The users that want to go to Service Pack 3, Service Pack 4, Service Pack 5, as soon as it's available and it doesn't force you to actually upgrade the servers. So it really behaves a lot how the Solid Network License Manager functions. So really great functionality. I really hope that you enjoy it and appreciate everything that SolidWorks Development works hard to add for you. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at SolidWorks Support at mlc-cad.com or you can call any available application expert at 1-800-364-1652, extension 8. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, we hope to see you soon. All right, bye.